The TMM1 NFC, in addition to its timer function, also functions as a counter. It is useful in many practical applications, such as counting passage through a turnstile that contemplates a maximum number of accesses in a specific time period, or counting a maximum number of pieces on a production line. Let's see how to set it up. Press Parameters and access M01 General. On the Functions list, select, for example, F, Pulse on Relay Energizing with Start at Contact Closing, which sends an impulse whenever that contact is closed. For the Timed function, you can easily set times T1 and T2 from the menu, O1 General, here. Since parameter T2 is not used for this configuration, we'll leave it unchanged. You can associate a counter with the timer function to count the number of closures of the output. Set it on the menu O2 counters. The first parameter is preset counter, here. That will count the number of times the function has to be performed. We'll enter 3 for this example. The second item, counter value, will serve to check progress. Now, by pressing send and placing the smartphone near the device, the settings are transferred to the TMM1 NFC. Let's test the function now. We'll press this key three times to perform the function. One, two, and three. The green LED is blinking to tell us that it has reached the maximum number. Check the progress, place the smartphone near the device. There. In the menu O2 counters, we see that it has reached the maximum value programmed. Now that the counter has reached the number of closures we set, the timer will stop performing the function that was programmed and any new closures of the contact will be ignored. To start over and reset the counter, just switch it off and on again. Happy programming!